Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the speed up tricks on the Honor 200 Smart. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, first, let me show you uh, how to get access into the developer options because uh, in here uh, we need to change a few things. So, um, to open up the developer settings and actually how to get access to them, uh, first we need to open up uh, normal settings. Now, uh, scroll down into the bottom, click on about phone uh, and now we need to tap uh, on the build number a few times um, until we see that we are a developer. Uh, as you can see in my case I am already a developer um, so I don't need to do this once more but now uh, get back, uh, exit the about phone, click on the system and updates and now you can see the developer options are right in here. And now we need to scroll down a little bit uh, and in here we need to change uh, four options so and uh, the first okay here they are mm, so uh, in here we have the window animation scale transition animation scale and the animator duration scale as you can see currently and defaultly they are set on mm, 1x uh, and to boost the uh, performance of your uh, device simply uh, select them on 0.5 or at least on at least on 0.5 or on off uh, it's uh, up to you in my case i'm going to select uh, each uh, of those uh, three options on 0.5 just like that mm, okay now another thing and the last thing in the developer options is a little bit uh, to the downside uh, scroll down and find the apps and now uh, you can see the um, background process limit. Mm. Defaultly it's set on standard, but to uh, boost your uh, performance of your device, uh, you can click on at most 3 or at most 4, as you can see. Uh, Alright, now we can go back from here, and now let's get into the apps. Uh, click on apps. Uh, and in here you can simply uh, uninstall the apps that you are not currently using. Uh, it is uh, simply good for uh, performance of your device. If you have some apps that you are not currently using, you can simply uninstall them uh, right in here. Uh, some apps are not uh, available to be uh, uninstalled because uh, some of the apps are system apps and you cannot uh, simply uh, uninstall them. But for example, you have the Netflix, so you can simply click on it and in here click on uninstall. Click on OK, boom, and now the app has been uh, successfully uh, uninstalled. Also in here have all apps, uh, the personal apps and the twin apps. So the personal apps are, uh, I think, personal apps are uh, normal apps also. Uh, but I don't have that as a 100%. Mm. Of course, uh, if you want, you can also uh, simply uninstall the apps from the uh, from the home screen. Uh, for example, in here we have the WhatsApp. Uh, simply hold, hold on the icon, and in here you can also click on install, uninstall. And as you can see, the app has been uninstalled successfully. Uh, all right. Also, we can click on storage, and in here we can perform a simple cleanup. Simply click on that button. Uh, in here you can see that we have some junk files and we can clean them so simply click on clean up and 120 megabytes of the storage space uh, has been successfully d gained actually because we cleared the junk files uh, okay now we can go uh, back from here uh, and let's get uh, to the battery Mm, and in here the first uh, mode from the top as you can see is the performance mode and below we can see the time and how long uh, the phone and the battery will last when this mode is on and you can see it's about uh, 31 hours mm. and the uh, performance mode provides that that uh, our setting our settings will be optimized to deliver maximum performance, power consumption and device temperature will increase. 
Uh, so I suggest you should use that mode uh, not uh, that quite often uh, because uh, you know uh, overheating your um, your battery and uh, keeping it on the uh, high temperature uh, is not uh, good for the battery health and it's not good for the uh, health of your device but if you want to improve the speed from time to time you should use that performance mode uh, okay, mm, also now uh, we can go b into the home screen and here we can find the system manager also. Uh, in here uh, you will have uh, sometimes the possibility to click on optimize, in my case it's not possible right now. Uh, but if you have that uh, option, uh, click on optimize uh, and follow the instruction on the screen. Uh, I, I was showing you the cleanup, uh, so uh, I don't need to do this uh, anymore. Uh, also, uh, you can uh, open up the Play Store and uh, in here you can also download some third-party apps and that can help uh, with the performance of your uh, device. So, for example, you can simply uh, uninstall the additional um, cleaning apps, simply type cleaner and in here you can, uh, you can download some uh, uh, cleaner apps as uh, some additional ones. Simply look uh, on the opinions and how many uh, downloads uh, has been made. For example, this one has over 50 millions. Uh, simply find something for yourself if you want, but because of course you have that uh, default cleaner mm, in the settings under the system manager. Uh, and the last thing I'm going to show you is a simple reboot. Mm, so to reboot this device, because a simple reboot will also help with the performance of your device, because thanks to that, uh, some of the uh, background processes that are still running uh, will be simply closed mm, and also during that the uh, RAM, you, you free up some RAM. Uh, and to perform a reboot uh, you need to open up the power menu first. Uh, to do it we need to uh, tap the power button and the volume up button. Uh, sorry, uh, we need to hold the power button, that's my bad. So let's keep on holding, okay, and now all you need to do is to simply tap on a restart, then your screen will go black and within a few seconds the phone will be automatically turned on back again and ready to use. Uh, and I would say that you can perform a simple reboot from time to time, for example, I don't know, once a week, uh, and it will all, of course will be good for uh, the health and the performance of your device. Uh, and also we have the second method how we can uh, restart this device. Uh, for example, when it's uh, unresponsive, uh, we can perform uh, the mm, force restart. And to do it, we need to hold the power button and the volume up button at the same time uh, until the device will be turned off. So simply hold both of those buttons. Or actually, uh, I might uh, I might be wrong because uh, there's a chance that it's power. Yeah, it's volume down. Uh, s sorry, not uh, volume up, volume down. So simply hold both of those buttons. Don't worry that you have uh, taken a screenshot. Simply keep on holding. All right. Now, uh, when you feel a little vibration, you can release your fingers. Uh, now, as you can see, the Honor logo appeared. And now, all you need to do is to simply wait until your phone will be turned on and ready to use. Uh, also, I will tell you that you should uh, avoid uh, overheating your uh, device, for example, uh, overheating your battery mm, when you are loading it. Uh, so, simply mm, control how long your phone is charging. You can also see it in the settings. Alright, so that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.